Here's the uh, youth bow that we did a while back, and I said I was going to finish it up. But I've had a lot of people have been asking about more reflex bows. So, you know, this was a really even bow when we made it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a heavy reflex in the handle. And I'm going to show you what that'll do. It's a lot easier to do heavy reflex with the uh, solid PVC bows because wooden C is just add another dimension to the balance like you saw on the PVC horse bow with wooden C is I had some difficulty imparting the reflex. Not such a big deal with all PVC. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this up and flex this forward in the handle. I'm going to show you what that looks like and I'm going to string it up for you. Here's our bow. If you can see I reflexed it in the handle quite a bit. And what I did was I just went ahead and I made sure that the distance between the tips and the handle was 9 inches. And as you can see, the limbs have actually taken a little more bend than they had before. What I've done is I haven't heated any part of this. It's just after I reflexed the handle, I went ahead and I strung this already. I weighed it just to make sure that it would hold together. Sometimes, even if everything lines up, it takes some tweaking and adjusting. And I wanted to do that beforehand just to make sure everything was right. Um, I had no real problems with this bow. So I'm going to string this up for you guys and I'm going to show you what it looks like strong. Now, I weighed this and it used to be 35 pounds, as you saw. This is the same youth bow that we were building in the flattened PVC re, uh, youth recurve, except now it's pulling 44 pounds. So let me string this up for you guys. Okay. And when you're stringing up, you got to be really careful because this bow is under a lot of pressure and a lot of strain. you got to make sure that when you're stringing it, you're uh, putting even pressure on the limbs. Otherwise, it could easily it could easily collapse or snap on you at this point. Now, if you can see, here it is strung up. And as you can see, the bow is not entirely balanced. Now, this is a problem you'll we'll have with a lot of highly reflex bows, especially the uh, traditional bows of Korea and Mongolia. Even the uh, Turkish flight bows have this problem. What you want to do is you just want to take your bow tips and you just flex. So you want to flex the limb that's not bending as much to kind of take pressure off. So as you can see. And this will occasionally switch limbs sometimes. This limb will be stronger and this limb will be weaker. It's just because they're under a lot of strain. Now if the difference is incredibly different you actually want to take the string off and you want to make sure you balance both limbs out. I didn't have to do that. If I did, I would have shown you guys. So, here we go. Now they're even. So what you want to do is you want to take the limb that was not bending as much, and that will be your bottom limb when you shoot. And another thing you want to do is you want to check the bow and make sure it lines up before you shoot it. Because these bows are, this bow is under so much stress, it will actually get a little crooked between shots. So you just want to go ahead and adjust that. There you go. I'm going to show you what this bow looks like at full draw. here if you guys can see. <coughs> That's it. There it is. Thanks for watching.